Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to discuss operations on signal. So to explain operations on signal, I'll explain time shifting operation, folding operation, scaling operation, as well as arithmetic operation in this session. So I'll begin this session with first agenda that is time shifting operation. So basically when we have any signal, let us say we have signal X of N and if you want to delay this X of N, if I want to do operation which is delay operation. So in that case, I may be having delay of K by having X of N minus K. So when I do X of N minus K, I will be delaying X of N with K time period. Now see if I want to advance signal, so to have advance operation, advancing of signal, in that case I need to have n plus k where I will be advancing x of n by k variable. Now let us try to understand this with example so it will be more clear. So see for example if I say I have a signal x of n and if that signal is let us say 1, 2, 1, 3, 4 with reference is over here. Right. So, this is what X of N that is given to us. Now, question is if I want to do delay X of N minus 2, then that signal sequence will be same 1, 2, 1, 3, 4. But because of I am delaying this by 2 time period, I need to shift this by 2 to have delay of it. So now this reference will be shifting, shifted over here. So now it will be over here. So this is how I can delay it. Similarly, I can have advancing operation. So for that if I have x of n plus 2 operation, in that case sequence will remain same. 1, 2, 1, 3, Four. Now see original signal is this 1 2 1 3 4 and reference is at this one. So to advance this I need to shift this reference over here. So reference will get shifted over here and that is how I can have advancing. So this is how in sequence we can do this operation. But sometimes there could be a query when you do this operation in terms of graph. So for that I'll mention what is that which we need to do over here. Like see if I have x of n and if you do operation x of n minus k then graph that should get shifted in this direction. If you have x of n and if you do operation x of n plus k then graph that should get shifted in this direction. If you if you have x of n minus n for example then first we need to fold this I'll explain that in next uh, operation folding so from x of n to x of minus n we have x of minus n now and now if you do this operation x of minus n minus k so in that case as it is folded version you will have to shift folded version graph in this direction and if you have x of minus n folded of x of n and if you do this operation x of minus n plus k so in that case you will have to shift graph in this direction so this is how we need to shift graph and to explain this you will be finding example in next talk, next video so you just see my next video where i have done example based on graphical understanding so it will be more clear to understand so from example you can learn this this is what the operation which we need to do for shifting. So this is all about time shifting. Now let us have time folding. So for time folding, basically when you have signal x of n, folding means you will be having x of minus n from x of n. That is what time folding. Let us try to understand this with one example so it will be more clear. Like see if you have x of n and that is given by 1, 2, 1, 3, 4 with reference over here. 
and if you do folding operation then that will be x of minus n from this so that have a, that will be having reverse order of this sequence so this 4 that will come here then 3 then 1 then 2 and then 1 so you will have to write sequence in reverse order with same reference so reference is at this one so that is what this one so reference will be same and that sequence will get reverse so that is what folding operation so in folding we need to do reversal of sequence whatever sequence that is given to us that we need to reverse it out with respect to time now I'll explain scaling so to explain scaling there are two types of scaling amplitude scaling and time scaling here I'll explain amplitude scaling first so in amplitude scaling in amplitude scaling amplitude of given signal will get scaled like see for example if you have y of n and if you multiply k with that y of n that is resulting in a new sequence. So one can say we have scaled y of n with respect to amplitude k. Let us have one example so it will be more clear. For example y of n that is given to us. If I say y of n is equals to 1, 2, 1, 3, 4 and k is equals to 2 so if i do this operation that is x of n is equals to y of n into k where k is equals to 2 so in that case i will have to reference is over here so in that case i'll have to multiply this variable with all elements so 1 into 2 that will result into 2 2 into 2 that will result into 4 2 into 1 that is 2 and reference is over here so I need to mention that reference 3 into 2 6 and 4 into 2 8 so that is how amplitude scaling could be done I'll explain time scaling with example in next session so you just see my next session based on example of operation on signal where you will be studying how to do timing operation to understand timing operation we need to understand graphical understanding so it will be more clear so for that I have made separate session on timing operation with example so you just see my next session where I will be explaining timing operation timing scaling right now on op in case of operation of signal we can have arithmetic operations so in arithmetic operation there are multiple cases we can have addition we can have subtraction we can have multiplication or we can have division so all these operations that we can perform in arithmetic operation I will be considering case of addition so for addition if I say I just have z of n that is x of n plus y of n so this is what addition operation now let us have example so in here in this case if I say x of n that is given by 1 2 1 3 and reference is over here and y of n that is 2 3 1 1 and reference is over here so over here we need to do addition with respect to all with respect to reference with individual elements so when you do this operation we need to see at which position what elements are there so when you do this operation z of n that will be our answer and we need to see with respect to reference first so see here with this reference with x of n there is 2 and y of n there is 1 so 2 plus 1 3 so 3 there is a reference at 3 so I have done that with respect to reference first 
so 2 plus 1 3 now if you move in this direction now for y of n there is no coefficient but for x of n in this direction that is coefficient 1 so 1 plus 0 that will be 1 over here 3 plus 0 that will be 3 over here now in this direction 1 plus 1 that is 2 over here then there is no data further for x of n for y of n 3 plus 0 that is 3 here and 2 plus 0 that is 2 over here so we need to do basic arithmetic operation with respect to position so here first we need to see what is the reference and with respect to reference for individual element we can do arithmetic operation like addition subtraction multiplication and division so we need to see first of all what is the reference of both of these signals and then we can have addition subtraction multiplication division whatever case that is there in your question so i hope that you have understood this session and in next session you will be finding examples you can definitely ask your queries here by comments i am reading your comments and based on that in future i will make videos to sort out all those queries thank you so much for watching this video